Good morning on this Saturday, June 30th. This is your tropical weather update. The Hurricane Center has highlighted three areas in the Atlantic Basin, but none of the above show any risk of really any signs of development. The first one is the remnants of Debbie, which have basically dissipated. The second one is a tropical wave in the central Atlantic, and it's moving into conditions that are not favorable for tropical development in the Caribbean. And the third and final area is a batch of thunderstorms that are moving into South Texas, providing the area with beneficial rainfall. And nothing is brewing in the eastern Pacific, so as we take a look at the surface analysis, again, there's really nothing much happening. There's the tropical wave moving closer to the Lesser Antilles. We've got an eastward advancing cold front over the western Atlantic, and that's really all there is to speak of in the Gulf, Caribbean, or Atlantic Ocean. And out into the eastern Pacific, we still have the monsoon trough, but it's not showing any signs of developing tropical mischief. On this morning's visible, you can see the wave axis and upper level low just toward the north. Here's the cold front, and here's the massive thunderstorms moving into the Texas region. And there's a look at the infrared, but the water vapor is the most telling picture. As you can see, the upper level lows and the associated shear axis along with a lot of dry air across the entire region. So this is not a favorable pattern for any type of tropical development for at least the next five days. The latest six-day forecast from the CMC model reveals little to no tropical action. And the seven-day forecast from the GFS does not show much of anything either. Moving forward with the latest update from the ECMWF model, we don't really see much to speak of in the Gulf, Caribbean, or West Atlantic. If there is going to be any tropical action over the next seven days, it may be in the eastern Pacific in the form of one or two suspect areas of low pressure that, as of right now, are progged to remain to the south of Mexico. So we are looking fairly good out there in the tropics. Really quickly, though, this is a look at the Texas radar, and you can see that the storm being sheared apart by the upper level low is still going to bring in some much-needed rainfall for much of the Texas coast, anywhere from Houston, Galveston, southwest into Corpus Christi. The chances don't look quite as good going into Raymondville and Brownsville, but hopefully you guys can get in to some of the action as we get later on into the afternoon hours. Meanwhile, we could really use some rain across the central and southeast part of the nation as heat advisories are in effect, and in fact record-setting temperatures for a second day in a row are likely. But we also don't need those beneficial rains to come in the form of severe weather, and unfortunately that appears what is going to happen later this afternoon as the Storm Prediction Center has issued some rather high probabilities for the risk of wind damage, especially across the mid-Atlantic states. Hopefully they will not be as strong as the storms that were witnessed much of yesterday afternoon and the evening. In fact, yesterday's storms turned into a long-lived derecho event, which caused significant wind damage reports and in fact we're talking over 780 reports of wind damage most of those confined from Indiana eastward to the mid-Atlantic coast so thank you for keeping up with the hurricane tracker app and 28 storms is your number one source for tropical weather related information and you can always find us on Facebook and Twitter as we continue to provide more updates not only in the tropics but also with the weather across the United States